Hey everybody, Kara and Monica back for another episode of She Smokes Too. And today we have a very special guest. She is the accounting manager here at JC Newman. She is Kara and I's personal friend, and she is the most cigar chick I know. <laughs> she frequents her local lounges. She has a locker <laughs> at her favorite lounge, and um, you can always find her with a cigar in one hand and a Mick Ultra in the other. <laughs> Usually in our parking lot on our lunch break. <laughs> Maybe not the Mick Ultra. <laughs> Um, so welcome, Stacy. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, fun. We always start these by talking about our pairings, and today is kind of special because we don't know what we're smoking. Yeah. Stacy picked. You picked wine. You wanted white wine today, mm -hmm. um, and we had initially intended on smoking um, a new Questeray blend that Stacy picked out. Um, but right before we started shooting, our vice president of operations said. No, come downstairs. I have something cool for you. So we just got in these um, special limited edition Diamond Crown cigars that were created for our 125th um, company anniversary, which was actually two years ago. But um, with COVID, and is everybody sick of hearing that? Um, <laughs> we delayed a lot of things. Um, so these cigars are finally ready. And I this is the first time I've seen the packaging. This is the first time I've seen the cigar. You know nothing about the blend. Know nothing about it other than it was a special project between Rich and Drew Newman and Carlito Fuente. So I'm excited. I mean, I'm excited. if it's a diamond crown <laughs> and it's rolled at the Fuente factory, like it's gonna be good. Yeah. But mm -hmm. We don't know what to expect, so. Yeah. And if you wanna know where to get it, um, you probably can't. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't know. I don't. I have no idea. Just like I don't know what's in it. So mm -hmm. don't ask us. <laughs> we always start by asking more of like long form questions, and then we'll do some rapid fire questions at the end. So we'll just dive on in. Yeah. Can you do the first question? Sure. All right. Are you willing to try a cigar again if you had a bad experience with it? Mm. Yes. And I'll tell you why. Okay. Because sometimes your palate's just not there. You've drank something, you've ate something. Um, it changes throughout mm -hmm. the day, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, morning cigar, I like different than my evening cigar. So, yes, I would be willing to try it again. And I feel like even your mood can kind of oh, dictate absolutely. that. Like, if I'm, like, real anxious, I don't want a full-bodied cigar that's going to get me kind of wired. You want more of, like, a mellow cigar. So, it depends yes. on your frame of mind too or something. Yes, absolutely. What's the best piece of cigar related advice you've ever received? Okay, so I was in a shop and um, there was a discussion about torches being left in cars and that you shouldn't do that. And I have this really nice Fuente torch and um, it's a DuPont so it's a little expensive. And um, I'm thinking, yeah, I better, better do that. I didn't know that you couldn't leave them in cars. And, you know, I just never heard of me. So um, there was this whole debate, and they're like, make sure you take it out of your car. And I'm like, of course I am. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to forget. I forgot. <laughs> so um, the next day, I go to get it. The next day? Yes. The very, <laughs> the next, very day, next day. Oh my gosh. I go to get it out of my car, and um, I realized it's in my car, and I'm like, oh no, and I've left it in there before. And so I so think that'd be fine. It's fine. And I pull it out, and it had exploded. Like, the sides of it were shot off. Oh my the God. top was like shot off, and I just like wanted to cry. <laughs> and so I called a friend that, um, his name's David, and I said, uh, so. <laughs> That's really good. This is the situation. <laughs> Actually, we were in person, I didn't call him. And um, I said, uh, you won't believe what happened to me today. <laughs> well, my torch. Oh so. I think he's really to blame. It sounds like he jinxed you. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But <laughs> and Florida, I, Florida summer day, anything will explode. Yes. In so car. do not leave torches in hot areas, especially <laughs> cars. Honestly, I assume it would probably be the same for really cold temperatures, where it would yeah. be really yeah. bad if you're in freezing climates. You need climate yeah. control for your torch lighters, especially if it's a DuPont. Mm -hmm. All right, oh, lesson learned. Yeah. It's very, I'm wondering if like, to send it in. <laughs> no, can you fix this for me? <laughs> like, think it's in pieces. <laughs> Ma'am, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is this part of the warranty? Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. You're gonna kill me for this question, but it's totally random. <clears throat> um, do you have an embarrassing cigar story? <laughs> Uh, 
Actually, I do. Okay. I have a few. <laughs> I'm now just tell you one. Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'm at this really nice lounge, and I'm trying to be, you know, I'm in the cigar industry, I know what I'm doing, you know, and people tend to look at you for, like, how do you light your cigar, and how do you cut your cigar, and things like that. So, I'm, um, I'm sitting there, and telling somebody how, I'm telling another female who's never smoked before, how to smoke a cigar. Mm-hmm. I'm giving her instruction, like, as if I'm an expert or something, which I am not. And um, I said, you do it like this. And I put the cigar in my mouth. I put this side. <laughs> no. Oh my god. I had an ash all over my face <laughs> in my tongue. It like was <laughs> so Was it hot? Like, not like it was it burned me, yes. Oh my god. And I'm like, I mean I'm just I'm having a moment. And she's like, maybe maybe I'll figure it out myself. Yeah, I think I'll <laughs> You go wait on this one. <laughs> it look like that. that doesn't look enjoyable. <laughs> I don't, don't want to do that. I mean, I put it in my mouth. Oh my gosh. I had been touching it up, so I was yeah. holding it, and then and when I just, put it. You were just focused on like talking to her. I was, you know, because I'm an expert now. <laughs> yeah, it was really embarrassing. Oh God, I think you did that. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. That yeah. is a good one. I don't think I've ever told anybody that story actually. <laughs> so now everybody knows. <laughs> what piece of advice? would you give to a woman just getting into cigars? And it's not, don't put the ash in <laughs> Hold your own. Hmm. Hold your own. Um, don't be intimidated. Mm-hmm. Um, I know when I first started smoking, especially in lounges or in, in that kind of setting, um, it can be a little intimidating. Mm-hmm. Um, you feel like you've got to know what you're doing. You feel like you've got to cut it right. And, I mean, for the longest time, I'd have Marilyn um, cut my cigars and light them for me because I was so afraid I was going to make yeah. a mistake. Um, Marilyn's a, a friend and another, co- another co-worker yeah. at the time. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and um, I just think it's important to learn, be confident, and be and it's okay to ask questions. Mm-hmm. It's okay to say, I don't really know what I'm doing or I don't know a cigar I want to try or um, what kind of cut I like. Um, you know, try different things. So like embrace your noviceness. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Don't exactly. have shame about being new to it. Absolutely. What's a must-have cigar accessory everyone should own? It sounds kind of girly, but I would say, if it, and they make some manly ones. I knew you were gonna say that. And I say you're a real cigar pick. chick if you use a pick. I, I say cigar this, chicks use yes. picks. <laughs> I say this because you'll be smoking a really great cigar. And it starts to get warm, and it's burning your fingers, and you know you want to you want to smoke all of it. Mm-hmm. And um, a cigar pick makes that possible, and it's can be so pretty. <laughs> That's the girly part. But for those of you who don't know, a cigar pick is almost like a needle that you stick in the end of your cigar so that you can keep smoking down to the very end. Yeah, because cigars get warm. Hold it, yeah, when you can't hold it anymore at the end. And they make them very manly ones, so people use toothpicks. I mean, like, it, there's... Yeah, or just really basic ones. Yeah, mm-hmm. or you can get really blingy ones. I mean, it just depends. I mean, it really goes over well when you bring out the blingy one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a princess. <laughs> <laughs> I forget one. I haven't quite gotten to the scar I know. Me neither. Part of my scar journey. It's commitment. <laughs> This is an accessory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Honestly, with everything that goes into a cigar, it really is a shame to kind of waste it. Yeah, you never not. If you had a, like amazing glass of wine, you'd never leave a sip. At That's the end. true. That's a good way to put it. Right? Especially if you're having that one cigar you're never going to have again. Yeah. Right. You know, we've all had one where you know you're never going to get another one. It was either. You mean get... this one? Yes. This <laughs> one. I need a cigar pick for this. <laughs> it's not like oh, I've got a whole box of those. You know, right. yeah. you just really want to enjoy it as long as you can. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been underestimated in a cigar smoking situation? Oh, yes. <laughs> you mean um, the cute blonde girl in the cigar lounge? <laughs> <laughs> I went to this lounge, um, I won't say where, and it was in another state that I don't live in. And so um, it was a man's man's place. Like it's a uh, man's game, nothing wrong with that. Um, and I sat down and embraced it. And uh, I kept getting, do you need help with that? Do you know what you're doing? Don't, make sure you don't. And it was, um, you're getting unsolicited advice. Yes, and I was like, I, I, I got this. 
Yes. I mean, you know, I don't always, but <laughs> I did in this situation. Um, but it, it uh, yeah, I mean, I think as a woman, um, you typically do. Mm -hmm. I would say probably most women would answer that question the same way. Um, because it was traditionally a man's world that we, you know, has become yeah. as she smokes too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, definitely. But it's always fun when you're in that situation to like pull out your own cutter, your own lighter, oh. your cigar pick, and they're like, okay. <laughs> I bring out like I bring out my whole little yeah, you like, like line up your book, you know, and like you're like because uh, it looks like a little purse, you know, uh -huh. and then I open it up and there's all this stuff in it, and they're like, uh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> right. you know what you're doing. She's yeah. got it. Yeah, she knows what she's doing. I love it when I get to tell somebody else how to do it. That's yeah. trying to tell me, and I'm like, oh, no, you're going to know. <laughs> well, I don't say it like that, but yeah. yeah. You ready for a rapid fire? All right, so double blade, knee cut, or punch? Knee cut. Smaller or bigger ring gauge? Small. Red or white wine? White. Shade or Maduro? Mm -hmm. Depends on the time of day, so I'd say both. <laughs> uh, pressed or round? Pressed. Heels or flats? Heels. Smoking indoors or outdoors? Outdoors. <laughs> Winter or summer? Summer. Daisy, you've been a friend of ours for a long time. Um, and so it was really fun to bring you in on this. Mm -hmm. And I know that sometimes things like this make you nervous. So we appreciate <laughs> you saying yes. Because as Monica said at the beginning, you are the most authentic cigar chick in our group. So we wouldn't be representing She Smokes Too, right, if we didn't have you on and introduce you to the people and let you know that accounting people can be really fun too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe the rumors. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. I, I, it really, really means a lot to me that you thought I had something interesting to say. And mm -hmm. um, it was really fun, so. It is fun. Questions. We thought you were interesting even without knowing the Ash story. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great one. That's a great one. Do we want to give our final thoughts on this cigar? <sighs> Having blindly tried it? Blindly tried it and being distracted too, so I haven't really been able to focus on it. Um, first of all, it's beautiful. Yeah. The band the is the absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is definitely true to the Diamond Crown. Um, all the way. Uh, super smooth. Super smooth. So absolutely. Smooth. Well balanced. Um, it's been burning very evenly. Oh my gosh, the smoke um, on this thing's been unreal. I know. Yes. And A plus on the ring gauge. Bless oh, whoever picked yeah. the ring gauge. The ring gauge is perfect. I'd say it's probably what, like a, like a high 40? Yeah, I would say like a, yeah. a 50? Maybe like a 50. Yeah, maybe a 50. Yeah. I, I would also, if I had to give it a 1 to 10, I would definitely say this is a 10. Yes. Yeah, it's it's really good. I would definitely, I'm going to keep smoking this, and I would definitely smoke another. So we're going to go downstairs and talk to our VP of Ops about getting a couple more, maybe? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Okay. A couple more. <laughs> absolutely. Cool. Well, thanks for your time. Let's do a cheers yes, on the way out. Cheers. Let's cheers. finish these when we're done uh, yes. shooting. Thank you guys for joining us, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Cheers.